Nah. And why is my door open? Because you left it open. Grandpa, better do it right. gets the worst bales to put on there. That's fine, just set it down. Okay. Gotta teach these kids how to do this, I think, because they just don't get it. But, uh, yeah. All right, so we're gonna talk about this before we get too far. Oh. So, here we go. Today, whoop, wrong way. Today, we went to Ag Progress Days in State College, Pennsylvania, at Pennsylvania State College. Um, here comes tomato. That should suck those in. We gotta keep a count on here. I can only put 22 bales in this thing. Which is fine, I'm just getting, for the most part, I bought it to bring compost and fertilizers and other things home and move corn. Uh, but anyways, I went to State College today to the Pennsylvania State Agriculture uh, Ag Show, me, Teresa, and William. It was 98 degrees, I believe, something like that. It was effing hot. Uh, met up with a bunch of people that uh, just so happened to see me there. need to push it and uh, I did enjoy meeting everybody I wasn't short with anybody but I would like to say though thanks everybody that came up to me you didn't spend too much time and that was fine because I really did want to see the show I did not get to see everything I wanted to see because it wasn't there uh, William was the deciding factor on when we left I would have stayed the entire day um, I should have brought the motor home but I didn't uh, but anyway, I just want to say thanks to everybody that showed up and shook my hand. I appreciated everyone. Teresa's like, you know, you love that. And I was like, I actually do. I really do like meeting people that, uh, you know, enjoy my channel. It's always fun uh, to see people and actually connect with them. And I, I hope I helped a couple of guys. I know there was a couple of guys that were asking me questions about bailers and, uh, you know, what I thought of straw markets and other things like that, and uh, where, what I thought they should be at, which I, I gave my honest opinion. I really don't know what the straw market is, and uh, uh, for, for uh, like horse, horses and uh, cattle, but you know, I did what I could, and there was one fellow, he had a crone baler that he was having issues with, and I hope the pointers that I gave him helped him out. I really do. He better not hit that. It's got to be square with that thing. I'll poke a hole right in the side of my damn trailer. It's too good. Set it down. It'll walk off of that. Yeah, you got to be real careful with those spikes because you'll just take that thing right to the right to the bone, tear it right off. So Lewis took that load, uh, two loads today. He's coming back. He's going to pull two more loads. I'm going to pull this one down. Uh, and I'm gonna bring compost back and we're gonna start stockpiling it. I need to stockpile something like 150 to 200 loads to do everything that I need to do uh, for next year, what I'm going to be doing next year. And uh, yeah, you just gotta, you just gotta do that. Uh, stockpiling starting now instead of waiting until it's planting season to go and get it. I was unable to get this machine or this trailer uh, really on time this year, but I love the trailer. It's great. It works really well. I wish I was able to get it a little bit earlier so I could have gotten more material because I was short about uh, 90 acres of, ah, you got to go that way. About 90 acres short. I'm going to shut it off so he doesn't get, it'll get ahead of you if you're not careful. I can walk it back and forth, it don't much matter, but yeah, you gotta, 
and that's it you know and if I go to a thousand acres it's obvious I'm not going to be able to compost all of it but I doubt that I'm going to do a thousand acres um, but I would like to I would like to get close you know I mean if I do I'm doing three a little over 300 this year uh, I think I'm at 310 315 my acre counter uh, my acre counter from the sky says that that's where I'm at with it and uh, I'm pretty happy with those numbers uh, but what the hell is that kid got there's a model airplane flying around but uh, yeah when you can uh, when I get close I'll, you know I mean five to seven would be okay we'll see how this fall goes I know if I go to a thousand acres I'm gonna have to get another combine and run two combines instead of just one because I just don't have the uh, two combines instead of one because one will break down and then the other one will have to go back to the field you know kind of a thing uh, yeah gonna be doing a lot of work on the header that I bought last year I'm gonna put new rollers on I'm gonna put new uh, gonna put new rollers and new stripper plates and new gathering chains on it so that it actually combines much faster than what I did it's up against he ain't gonna he's good um, yeah so that it goes a lot faster because we got a lot more to deal with and this here will be running green as well so that'll work really well um, but my crew is here they're doing their job this truck has been a bit of a nightmare to get done getting new tires on the back end of it the back axle is going to get tires put on it probably next week because they're shot um, but yeah this that truck is the one that's been causing me an ass ache but Lewis said that there was an issue with it, like there was a stuck break or something. He says, I didn't see anything, but something was wrong. He says, and then it went into fourth gear and it worked. It just took off and ran well. All right? What did you do? Crash his plane. Where'd you crash it? On the road? Huh? It didn't blow up? No. It's How fine. far? It's falling. Let me see this, Teresa. I gotta fly this thing. Okay, we're going on that throttle. It's differential thrust. No, it pushes one side to the other. Okay. I haven't flown in a while. Ready? Full throttle? Full throttle? Mr. Bandy, huh? you're roasted. You're like a lobster. Lobster. <laughs>
crazy. Better not get down there. You're not young anymore, you know? You're not young anymore. Shut up. How many more dad needs? How many more? Where did he go? Oh, you're lucky. Flight test certified. Put their little logo on it, along with this. Ah, that's cool. Is it done? That's a nice one. One more. I was gonna say
squeeze it in. You take this off. Oh, there you go. You got it. You got it. Strap it down. You don't strap this thing. Well, so just close the door, but no strapping. See that perfect, right? Yeah. It takes ten. Try to catch up to the corn planter. No. No. <laughs> There you go. You tell them, Will. Bye, Basically a hay and forage show.